Hey, YouTube, what's up? Fucking spaz, huh? Anyway, I don't have this on my face, but what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna coat this bowl of this pipe that I made. A lot of you may have seen my other video. I made it out of a, it was a walking stick. And I drilled the hole in it. Bullet shank, compressed brass fitting, uh, and uh, the part for uh, Missouri Meerschaum pipe. So, uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna coat it and I looked online and all the thing all the ones online said sour cream and activated charcoal. So basically what I'm gonna do is shove this in right now. So I don't plug the hole and uh, okay. plug the hole with the Q-tip. I got a little sour cream. Now it's sour cream and activated charcoal. Okay. Now I went to a health food store and the health food store told me they had, oh, we got one bottle left of the capsules, which is what it says online. So I went on, went in there, and it was 11-something. She goes, well, what are you going to use it? And I go, well, not for what you guys probably think. And she goes, oh, really? And I go, yeah, I'm going to coat a bowl, pipe bowl. Oh, well, we got it in bulk. I went, really? I go, let me. She goes, it'll be cheaper for you. Now, I'm not going to measure it. I'm just going to dump it in because my fan's blowing, so there's a bunch in the lid here. So, uh, I just dumped it in there. And I'm gonna mix it up, and she goes, well, I, I got uh, it in bulk. I said, sure, that'll be great. She gives me this big old bag right here. It was 11 something for the capsules small bottle and uh, for this big bag it was a dollar ninety eight it'll last me years um, and that's what some of the people said online too they said oh well what I got you know it'll last for years which the reason I'm coating this bowl is because I don't know what kind of wood it is so I'm gonna coat the bowl If you could see, it just, they said make it like paste. As you could see, and then smear it in the bowl. So that's what I'm gonna do. And then you let it cure and dry. I really hesitated because, come on now, sour cream in my pipe. But everyone said, if you look it up and you're interested, and what I seen, just look up bowl coating techniques and it'll come up sour cream and activated charcoal. So, do this, just smear it in there. Nice layer in there. And I'm using just a, like a, a popsicle stick, a long skinny one. Or else I'd just do it uncoated. Uh, but I really don't know what kind of wood it is. I'm sure it isn't poisonous, but still I wouldn't want it to burn the wood and start tasting weird. And I'm sure the first couple bowls will taste weird. But all I'm doing is just pushing this in and pasting it. Kind of pushing it in there and just smearing it in and then paste it in there again. And 
nice thin layer in there basically you're giving your cake a jump start and then I'm just gonna let it cure I didn't want to take too much time so everything I'm doing I kind of started already and then I'll when it's done when it's cured I'll come along and wipe it out and get the excess so for you that were interested in that I'm glad you're coming to my shop and playing see and there's the coated bowl probably can't see it but. so there's that now I'm cleaning up some pipes and as you know I was with uh, squid fisher a couple days ago if you don't know squid fisher you probably seen the video by now but nice guy got a huge selection of pipes he uh, he uh, ties fishing lures and a little RLP6 in here for a change and not quite enough for a bowl. Yeah. Got some Prince Albert on top of that. Oh yeah. Why not? That'll work just fine. Uh, so he had a bunch of falcon bowls and like. 10 of them or I don't know how many but we said well we'll do what we can to salvage the ones that were good here are the bowls I mean I mean and these are the better ones they're you know the top's been banged I mean they're chipped I mean you know pretty much garbage and I got a couple done that took forever to do, but here's uh, what I done. I took the top down on it. I don't know how good the light. And they're not far from perfect, but you know what? They're smokable now. So coming along with that, but it's taken quite a bit of work. So there's that. Now. The pipe stem, you know, these pipe stems, you know, that we're dealing with is, you know, I mean, that's what we're dealing with. And so I take, you know, 1500 grit sandpaper, take off some, and then I go to 2000 grit sandpaper, sand it. I'd use the magic eraser on it after that. And then I do the Brebbia stem polish, okay? This one right now, I didn't do the stem polish. So basically what I do, put that on there. I just use my fingers and do this, get it all rubbed on there, okay, because after you sand it's going to make it dull, so I do that and let it sit, okay, and this one kind of looked like the one I just showed you, but what I do then, I get this magic eraser, and if this pipe isn't too bad, which I'll throw 2,000 grit over it, and then an emery, an, um, it's, uh, you know, the pad that's real fine. And then I rub the magic eraser over it, and then I put the wax on it. So this one, I already done that too. 
So I wanted to show you, I'm gonna spin you a little bit over here and I'm gonna, you probably are a little tilted, but I'm gonna bump it real quick so I can show you. Don't go nowhere. second right so here's the pipe okay let me take you over here the lighting's a little bit better dry now and now uh, real quick So, now we have one, you know, and, the, and uh, you know, a pipe, depending on how bad it is, I mean, you know, it takes a little time, and, you know, and then in a little bit, I'll put some uh, carnauba wax, carnauba wax on here, just before I put it in the box, it's finished. kind of rushing through this, but here we go. Okay. Um, and this, of course, is one of Squid Fisher's pipes that was in that box that you seen, that huge box. You ain't seen it? And here's the ones I'm working on right now. I mean, but it's going to take a long while but here we go so YouTube I just wanted to show you some of the some of what's involved in cleaning the pipes just in case if you wanted to do it yourself you can um, if you want to get the polishes I do know for a fact four noggins got the Brebia stem polish the Halcyon 2, I think, and the uh, the other one. These are what I'm using. Halcyon 2 wax. This is for the rusticated. Use it for rusticated or if there's any writing on the pipe. Because when this dries, it dries dull wax. Okay? 
the Paragon, that's for smooth pipes with no lettering or anything. You rub this on, when it dries, it dries white. And you'll have a hell of a time getting the Paragon wax out of the rusticated areas and out of the stamping. Okay? So, I do know for a fact Four Noggins has those. One's 14, one's 12 or something, and then this is, I think, 4 or 8 for a tiny tube. And then, of course, a bunch of pipe cleaners and stuff like that. And then, like I said, there's the bowls. I think these will be good to work. By all means, they're nowhere near perfect, but they are smokable. And it's right on the borderline of not being worth even messing with. I showed them to you before. I mean, and then see them now. So, uh, and I think, uh, I think I'll be able to get a couple of these balls for my Falcon too. So that'll be cool. It's worth worth it to me to, you know, get a couple Falcon balls out of the deal. Anyway. YouTube, I think that's it for now. Uh, until next time, thanks for coming to my shop and hanging out. And until next time, bye now.